Okay, this is the uh, first of two videos for section 6.2, looking at calculus of parametric uh, curves. Uh, so first thing we're looking at is derivatives of parametric equations, and we have a theorem. Consider the plane curve defined by the parametric equations x equals x of t and y equals y sub t. Suppose that x prime of t and y prime of t exist, and assume that x prime of t is not equal to zero. Then the derivative dy dx is equal to dy dt over dx dt, which we can also write as x prime of t, y prime of t, x prime of t divided by y prime of t. Uh, your book should have a derivation of that. Uh, we also have the second derivative, uh, which would be d squared y over dx squared, which is d dx of dy dx, or d dt over dy dt uh, divided by dx dt. Alright, so we're going to work out uh, two examples of finding the first and second derivatives in parametric equations and coming up with equations of tangent length. So first one we're going to look at is x equals 3 sine of t, y equals 3 cosine of t, so that's going to be a circle. And we're going to look at the equation of the tangent at pi over 2. So dx dt is going to be 3 cosine t. dy dt is going to be equal to negative 3 sine of t. So dy dx is going to be dy dt over dx dt. And so that's going to be a negative 3 sine of t over 3 cosine of t which is equal to negative tangent of t. And we're going to try to find the equation of the tangent line when t is equal to pi over 2. So we're going to find the, we're going to use the point slope formula, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So to find y1, we're going to plug in pi over 2 into the y. So that'll be 3 cosine of pi over 2, which is going to be 0. So your y1 is 0. The x1, we're going to plug pi over 2 into the t for the 3 sine of t. And that's going to be 3. And then if we try to find the slope, that's going to be the tangent of evaluated at pi over 2. But the problem is, is that's where we have our vertical asymptote. So that's going to be undefined. And so we don't have, um, we don't have a slope there. It's an undefined slope. So let's go ahead and do a little bit of a graph of this. So uh, it is a circle of radius 3. So there it is. If we evaluate the x equals 3 sine of t and the y equals 3 cosine of t at 0, then the x would be 0 and the y would be uh, 3. And then we evaluate it pi over 2, the x would be 3 and the y would be 0. And so we're actually going in a clockwise uh, motion. And so you do see that you do have your vertical tangent right there at t equals pi over 2. And so our vertical, uh, so our tangent line would be in this case x equals 3. So the concavity is not going to be defined there because the first derivative is not defined there, but we can still find what the second derivative is. So the second derivative, d squared y over dx squared, is going to be the derivative with respect to time of dy dx all over dx dt. Okay, so the derivative of negative tangent of t divided by the derivative of x with respect to time, or t, which is 3 cosine t. So that's going to be equal to negative secant squared t over 3 cosine of t. And we can simplify that as negative 1 third over secant cubed of t and we already said that this was undefined at pi over 2. And so we'll just go ahead and mention that this is undefined at pi over 2. So we can't talk about the concavity there. So if you wanted to look at a different place, t is pi over 6 or t is uh, 0, then, then you could maybe find the equation of the tangent line and also the concavity at that point. Well, let's do another example. Here we're going to look at x is equal to the square root of t, y is equal to 2t. And specifically, they give us, let's go ahead and see what's going on when t is equal to 4. So x prime of t, that's your dx dt, is equal to 1 half t to the minus 1 half. y prime of t, your dy dt, is equal to 2. 
We're going to find the equation of the tangent line when t is equal to 4. So your y1 is going to be 2 times 4, or 8. Your x1 is going to be the square root of 4, which is 2. And we need to find dy dx at 4 to find the slope. It's going to be 2 over 1 half t to the minus 1 half, which will simplify to 4 square roots of t. So the derivative evaluated when t is equal to 4 is going to be 4 square root of 4, and that's going to be 8. So y minus 8 equals 8x minus 2. That will simplify to y equals 8x minus 8. That's the equation of your tangent line when t is equal to 4, specifically the equation of the tangent line at the point 2 comma 8. Now d squared y over dx squared is going to be equal to the derivative with respect to time, or t, of dy dx divided by dx dt, which is the derivative with respect to t of 4t to the 1 half divided by 1 half t to the minus 1 half, which is going to be 2t to the minus 1 half over 1 half t to the minus 1 half, which will simplify to be 4. So we're going to have a constant concavity of 4, constant concavity concave up there. So let's go ahead and look at this. So x is equal to the square root of t, so x squared would be equal to t. So substitute that in, we're eliminating the parameters, so y would be equal to 2x uh, squared. Sorry, an x, not, not, uh, not t there. Let me fix that. Okay, so 2x squared, and then when we take the derivative of that, y prime would be equal to 4, sorry, wrong variable, 4x, and in the second derivative, y double prime would be equal to 4, which matches what we said the deriv second derivative was going to be. Okay, so that's it for uh, this video, and uh, next week we'll be looking at 7.3 and 7.4, so we'll see you next time.